Hi everyone. This video is a tutorial on how to use my detailed unit price analysis estimate. Format, this is not a tutorial on how to program an estimate in spreadsheet, because most of the common item of works are already here in my estimate spreadsheet. If you want a copy of this, I am giving this estimate spreadsheet for free. All you have to do is to watch this, share with friends and subscribe, then contact me at the email address shown below. So, let's start. Estimating a project cost is part of the infrastructure project planning. By using the spreadsheet, as an estimator, all you have to do is to compute the quantity of the item of work then input in this estimate spreadsheet, then it will derive the project cost, as well as the material takeoff or quantity of materials, the equipment or tools requirement, and the manpower requirements. The author of this spreadsheet will show you the steps on how to use it. Before doing the estimates, make sure you have the material price list you know the manpower rates, the equipment rental rates. Then uh, you have the copy of the engineering plan. In this case, we'll be using this residential uh, building for this example. Then the second step, you may now open the detailed unit price analysis estimate spreadsheet. So on the input data tab, you will see a list of item of works and uh, markups you just need to uh, fill up the yellow uh, cell let's put the project title Then the location then uh, we can proceed in our detailed engineering plan to estimate for the quantity we have already prepared uh, several uh, item of works in this spreadsheet all we have to do is to fill up the yellow cell for example for the first item under the clearing and grabbing our area to be cleared is around 200 square meter then uh, for the item in the removal of trees assuming we have we need to uh, remove two trees then uh, for the excavation works we just need to estimate the foundation at uh, the volume of of the soil to be excavated for the foundation for this example our quantity is estimated to be around 23 and it is presumed that it is under the common soil not under the soft rock then for the gravel bedding uh, we estimated to have a 3 cubic meter for the gravel bedding then for the steel bars for one story we need to direct count all the steel bars in this uh, project then we need to convert it into kilograms assuming we have already computed the weight of the steel bars and it's around 1200 kilograms under this item this is not applicable so let's leave it zero then the next item is the structural concrete for footing and slab on field so assuming we computed the volume around 12.4 cubic meter then for the concrete for tie beam column suspended slab girder and beam we have around a, an estimated volume of 23.6 then for the form work and false work for one story building we just need to compute for the area of, of the column and uh, beam that uh, needs to be covered for uh, concreting in this case we have estimated to be around 49 square meter then for the walls for the four inches hollow block we estimated around 189 square meter then for the six inches hollow block it's around 36 square meter then for the plastering 
works we have estimated from uh, this plan around 420 square meter since this project does not contain uh, structural steel trusses then we leave it zero we'll proceed to the structural steel purlins because the roofing system for this project is a uh, rafter type you just need to compute or uh, determine the number of C purlins then convert it into kilograms so for this example we uh, determined that the weight of the C purlins is around uh, 200 kilograms uh, this project the roof for this project is not corrugated then uh, we leave this zero then we have determined the length in terms of meter the length of the flashing at around 38 meter then for the gutter we determine at around 13 meter for the roof sheet we leave this zero because we will not be using corrugated we'll be using the reed type for the roofing we uh, determine the area at around 140 square meter then for the water proofing cement base since this project has a uh, firewall we need to waterproof the firewall and we determined its area at around 66 square meter then for the tiles we determine the floor area at around 80 square meter as well as the ceiling at around 130 square meter then for the hollow flash door in estimating the door we need to sum up its uh, area for this example we determine that the area total area of the uh, flash door is around 5.04 square meter then we have also wooden panel door at around 2.1 why 2.1 because the size of that door is 1 meter by 2.1 meter that's why it is 2.1 square meter then PVC doors usually we'll be using that in a toilet we have an area of 1.26 then we'll proceed to the painting works masonry paintings or concrete surface paint painting which includes the, uh, the ceiling we have an estimated area of four, around 540 square meter <coughs> then for the paintings of metal surface it's around 45 square meter then uh, the estimated area for the sliding window it's around uh, 11.34 square meter in case we need an additional item we can just input here by going to this blank tab it is located here it says other items civil works in case you need a, an, an item for let's say cabinet you just input here um, fabrication of cabinet then you can uh, estimate the labor equipment then specify the materials then link that uh, tab into here just okay. explore this file anyway it is not locked we'll now proceed with the plumbing works For the plumbing works in the detailed engineering plan uh, just need to uh, determine the length of the sanitary pvc pipe for this example um, we determined the sanitary pipe around uh, 12 meter 12 sorry 12 meters then uh, for the water line pipes we need to um, go to this tab we need to go to this tab then we need to complete 
the details here. For this project, we use PPR pipe and PPR fittings. We just need to indicate the quantity. Then going back to the input data, just need to indicate the number of water closet. For this project, we have one. We also have one kitchen sink, one uh, lavatory. Then we have two floor drain. Uh, one set of soap holder and uh, and a tissue holder. Then we have 0.5 square meter um, mirror inside the toilet. We have also here blank uh, detailed unit price analysis in case we need to add uh, additional item of works. Then we will now proceed to the electrical works. In this example, um, we determined that the quantity for the flexible uh, conduit is around 200 linear meter. Then uh, we have uh, 33 pieces junction uh, or utility box. Then for the wire, we determined that we need a total of uh, 600 linear meter a total uh, length of wires then the number of single convenience outlet is around uh, 23 then for the sorry 13 rather then for the duplex outlets around um, 10 then for the panel board we need one set for this panel board we need to determine the other components. We need to uh, go to the detailed unit price tab and we need to determine this circuit breaker capacity. This is just an example. No? As an uh, estimator, you need to determine its size and its uh, price. For example, we need this three. Then uh, we need this quantity its price is around let's say 450 so meaning for the panel board alone you have this um, amount of 8000 let's go back to the input data then after that we will determine the number of bulbs or LED let's say for this example it's around 40 so after that we have already completed uh, using the estimate spreadsheet we just need to determine the OCM profit and the VAT when uh, practicing in uh, private or when dealing with private clients um, just need to decide the reasonable markup let's say 10% for OCM then 12% profit then zero but however if, if you will be doing an estimate uh, for a government agencies or offices there is a, a threshold for this as per uh, DPWH GO197 series of 2016 that is the limit for the OCM profit and value added tax if you are doing estimates for a government you are connected with the government you need to follow those uh, markups to avoid uh, violation of laws and uh, circles so for this example we use this mark so we can say that this is the total project cost for this example for this plan let's explore the other features of this uh, spreadsheet so after completing the input of the quantity we can now proceed to the next tab which is the breakdown of expenditures in this page um, there is a um, summary the breakdown of expenditures you'll be able to see the the cost for the materials for the manpower and the equipment as well as the markup for the OCM and the profit so if you'll be using this spreadsheet you just need to uh, input your your header 
then put your name signature then you can uh, make this as your front page of your estimate then the other tab this is the so-called ABC uh, actually this is optional if you'll be submitting estimate for the building permit um, you can you can just submit this breakdown of expenditures with the detailed unit price analysis this is just optional no but you can also submit this by the way you can verify its total the total of this abc should be uh, the same with this but of course in this format you need to uh, remove the zero just delete the zero or you can hide this then you can put your name and the uh, owner's name for concurrence yes. that's it we have already completed the estimate again as a summary you just need to um, input your project title the quantity based on your plan detailed engineering plan then decide the markups then you have already the project cost for example um, if you want to know the material take off for a certain item you can just um, pick one for example this four inches concrete hollow block so this is the material take off this is the quantity and its corresponding price then you can use this in the implementation so that's all thank you